El Gran Campeón Mexicano getting ready for a grand entrance here. Mexican legend Julio Cesar Chavez. What an incredible career that began back in 1980. Truly one of the all-time greats. Gets a little kiss from the latest addition to the family. Field began to erode during his controversial draw with Turnell Whitaker back in 93. Best fight seemed to be uh, behind him. What are your thoughts on the shove as of today? Well, he's obviously at the end of the road. His reflexes are no more. He's getting hit a lot. His face tissues no longer withstand the assault without breaking up. And uh, although tonight he may well get past this test, this is a, a young kid with not that many fights, and he should be able to get by. But it's the kind of test, if he doesn't get by, then that's an absolute stopper. That's like, put a cork in it, that's the end of that. So every time he fights now, we were at that point with the great champions when they're at the bottom of the road, which one's going to put a stopper in the bottom? All right, Ferdy. We'll check out his opponent. Willie Wise, unrated by any world organization. His biggest win when he traveled to South Africa, beat former lightweight champ Dingon Capella in 97. He's known for his slickness, his heart, not for his punch. To some, a sentimental favorite because his five-year-old son, Dominique, suffers from a rare childhood disease that causes uncontrollable seizures. Thankfully, medication now helping young Dominique. But Willie has medical expenses in excess of $70,000. Aside from boxing to make ends meet, he works at Petland Distributors in Brentwood, New York. His boss gave him a week and a half off for this fight. Bobby, why is perhaps just another opponent in Chavez Prime? What kind of problems might he pose to an aging Chavez, if any? Well, you know, that's true. In, in his prime, Chavez, uh, Willie Wise, in all probability, wouldn't last three to five rounds. But you know what? This kid has speed. If he's in excellent condition, and I mean excellent condition, and he can keep Chavez off, use the speed, because Chavez has slowed down, move around the ring, and take Chavez deep in the fight, make him look bad, he could make Chavez look so bad that it, it's not, a, at this stage in his career, it's not a type of fight he really wants to see. All right, let's check the numbers. As we go to the tail of the tape, Chavez now... 37, five years older than Wise, two and a half inch height advantage for Wise. Both weigh just under 147, the welterweight limit, and the reach is almost even. Unified rules, key rules for this non-title affair. No standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. If an accidental headbutt occurs before the end of the fourth round, the fighters rule they no contest, and Chavez has been cutting a lot more recently. They go to the cards after the end of round four. So here at the Las Vegas Hilton Pavilion, we're getting ready for Julio Cesar Chavez versus Willie Wise. The introductions from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon, Jr. Well, fans, at this time, Don King Productions and Showtime Championship Boxing, along with the Las Vegas Hilton and Corona La Cerveza Maspina, present this next special attraction coming your way. This bout is sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. The chairman is Dr. Elias Ghanem. Introducing to you our three judges scoring this bout from ringside, all from Las Vegas. We have Dwayne Ford, Chuck Joppa, and Dave Moretti. Introducing to you our referee in charge of this bout, Mitch Halpern. All right, fans, here we go with a welterweight special attraction scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing. 
Introducing to you on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing purple trunks with black trim, he joins us from Westbury, New York. He weighed in at already 146 pounds. His record stands at 23 wins, six losses, and four draws, with seven of his wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the former New York State champion, introducing a slick, Willie White. Sitting on my left, fighting out of the red corner, really needing no introduction the world over. Wearing red trunks with white and green trim, fighting out of and representing Culiacan, Sinaloa, Mexico. His weight, 146 and one half pounds, as the WBC number one super lightweight contender. His record includes 103 wins, three losses, two draws, with 86 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the five-time world champion in three weight categories. Here is one of boxing's all-time great champions, introducing El Gran Campeón Mexicano, Julio Cesar Chavez. Once again, the referee in charge of this bout is Mitch Halper, now to give instructions. I want to clean fight for check stuff at all times and stay in my command at all times. Any questions? Just trust me, luck. Julio Cesar Chavez calling this a tune-up for Kost Chizu. We'll see what happens. Bobby, let's check in with your keys to victory. Well, simply put for Chavez, he's got to close the gap and go to the head and body with his traditional power shots the way only he can. And how about Wise? Wise has to stay on the outside, counterpunch, and use that speed from the outside. Wise, a very cool and confident guy, told us he's in the best shape since birth. <laughs> and he'll give Chavez his WPs, his walking papers. Well, we'll see if he can avoid or withstand Chavez's famous body shots. Here we go, round one, scheduled for 10. Instead of a uh, WP, he may end up with a KO. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's his problem. I know there'll be an initial, a couple of initials in there somewhere. That's the problem. Chavez wants to win the belt by December, go out a champion, and retire by the end of 99. That's what he, he told us yesterday. Well, I'll tell you what, plans to fight Costa Zoo in December, uh, sometimes you don't really want to get what you wish for, and that might be one of those cases. We saw Costa Zoo, who looked very impressive against Miguel Angel Gonzalez a few months ago in Florida. Well, we, we wondered why. He's, here's a guy, fellas, he, he's lost three in a row, so how does he expect to beat Chavez, even though Chavez is not in his prime, but he's confident. question is, how did he get the fight? He got the fight because he lost three in a row. He says he'll be the aggressor, which is not his usual style. You hear the chance of Chavez. He's sort of like the Yankees and Notre Dame. They follow him all over the world. You know, he said that he had to be the aggressor. He said, I just have to be. And, I, and quite honestly, I don't think he can win the fight. Being the aggressor, he puts himself in arms way. Not a big puncher. going to do damage that way. They ask Chavez, his people, what's the biggest concern they have with Wise? And they say at no time has the thought even come across the mind of Chavez that there was a concern or problem with Wise. But he realizes Wise is very fast and he's not a big puncher and has a style that is tailor-made for him. Obviously, Chavez should be the heavier-handed of the two. Up to this point, he's being very patient and very slow, ponderous only. The other guy is punching away. Wise is punching away, not hard, but punching away. And uh, Chavez, historically a deliberate starter, uh, relies on the accumulative effect. From the start, uh, he does attack the body. Overall, he looks to slow the body and the head will fall. That's his uh, catchphrase, but always known as a great finisher if he gets you in trouble. Just a little bit ago, Wise actually landed a couple of intermittent lead left hooks. Now, that's the punch that Chavez years ago would have never seen anywhere near his jaw. Wise is slick more of a mover. His last three fights, he lost a ninth-round technical decision to Edgar Ruiz. He's had a bad cut before that KO by nine to a tough Santos Cardona. Prior to that, another difficult opponent, Daryl Coley, lost by 12-round decision for the NAB, a 147-pound belt. Daryl Coley's a real good fighter. He said it was a close, controversial decision that he thought he won. That is wise, and Coley's a good fighter. So maybe he brings a little more to the table than either of us knew about. Well, due, due to Julio Caesar's usual slow start, this guy's not doing bad at all. <laughs> he really isn't. No, he's a, he's a oh, solid oh, pro. Let go, let go. He's never had a stage like this, though, obviously. 
Yeah, he's been doing the punting. Uh, Julio's very slow in, the, in coming on, delivered. And remember, he always hits low, right? That's the first one, and we're going to see a lot more of those. Yeah, that was clearly shot to the border. Here's a good left cup, right off the jaw of Willie Wise by Chavez. That's another, that's another low one. Oh, he hit him just after the bell. Chavez did Wise. Don't punch one at a time, punch Do what you want to after that. Show us, show us your hand speed. Show us that beautiful boxing. He's saying move your waist more. In other words, bend over, do bobbing and weaving a little bit more than you're doing. You stand too straight up. And of course, that's the mark of an old fighter. You're not bobbing and weaving. As you get older, you stand straight up. Does Wise look at, him, look at him bobbing the weaving. That's what the corner told him to do. Does Wise have the style that could give Chavez trouble, particularly at this point of his career? For sure, Steve. You know what he's going to do? He's going to try and step like you just saw there. Step left, step right. When Chavez, who is slowed down just a little bit, goes to move one way, really Wise wants to be somewhere else and throwing punches again. He said he wanted to try and cut him up. He's cutting punches. He knows he's not a big puncher, but still believes he can do some damage. The big difference of this fight, as we saw with the women, could be power. Oh, yeah, I, I think he felt the power in that first round. He got a couple of shots, maybe one after the bell, where he felt it. And, and the punches to the body are going to be devastating and low. Remember, low. That's what he, Chavez does, punches low. Right now, I'm a little surprised that Chavez hasn't laid a couple of really hard shots in there, a little harder than he has. He almost connected with those. Those were glancing blows, first to right, then to left. Wise told us he's very aware Chavez is known for the debilitating shots to the side, the heavy body shots. Sometimes he is borderline low. Borderline may be uh, being very uh, diplomatic. The chance of Chavez from the crowd. I think Chavez sees that he can knock this guy out with a head without all that body attack and hard work. He's just going right up top. And if he can't get him out in a round or two, then he'll go back to the body. Right now, he's digging into the body. I mean, he's one of these kind of guys, and if I can get him out, why work so hard? I'll tell you right there, just for a second ago, Willie Wise worked some nice uppercuts on the inside and straight right hand, and he's landing on Chavez, and the two of them are giving a little shoulder to one another. Hey, watch the push it. Hey, oh, I don't know why you push it. You heard Mitch Halpern, the third man of the ring. His stock up, went up in the first Tyson Holyfield fight when he refereed that one. They're going there, they're going there. Very good referee. He's a very fine referee. They're going to let Chavez go away with too much. There's apprehension on the face of uh, Willie Wise. He, he has, his eyes open up when he gets hurt real hard. Oh, nice jab. Good nice jab by Wise. Wise. Nice. But Chavez continues to press the attack. A couple of good shots getting in there by Willie Wise, even though Chavez was coming forward. There's a combination to the head by Chavez. You know, Willie Wise really holding his own in the first two rounds. Not doing anything great, but doing everything just enough to keep this real close. It doesn't seem fearful or intimidated by the Mexican legend. Oh, a good right hook there by Wise. Right off the draw, straight left hand by Wise. Continues to drop forward. He enters the line with a combination of the head. Don't get in the line on the ropes, please. Keep the jab in his face. Come on, let's put better combinations together. Put it together. Double it up. Double it up. Back him up with it. Don't let him come in. Catch him as he's setting up. Don't let him set. Don't let him set. 
Good instructions from Tommy Malloy, who's been with Willie Wise since 1994. Please, urging him to stay off the rope, keep the jab in the face. Well, he said stay off the rope, keep the jab in his face, and try and back Chavez up. Certainly that's great, but Chavez is the type of fighter, he doesn't really fight well at all going backwards. And getting him to go backwards is also equally difficult. Yeah, but before that, he said stay out of the middle of the ring, stay off the ropes, and keep the jab going. <laughs> What's up, where else you go? What's left? What's left? Is there some place there I don't know? Stay in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Where else do you want me to hide? Oh, low, low, low. I told you. <laughs> there it is. Go, come on. Damn it, don't, don't. Oh, that shot is back to the right to the left. To the head and back comes Wise. Wise showing that he wasn't that hurt. He let Travis know it. And Wise showing a lot of heart. Chavez trying to measure Wise out, a little chest match there for the moment. He's trying to cross over his jab. He knows he's throwing that jab over there, and he's crossed over it a couple of times. Just missed. Wicked left hook off the jaw of Chavez by Wise. You know, as a former fighter, I can see the split-second difference in Chavez's punch, reflexes in his punches. Punch. I can see him thinking something before he gets it off getting hit, and it's just one of those things. Father Time will slow Chavez walk you down. In his prime, perhaps would have blocked those punches, deflected them away. Come on. Come on. Willie Wise has to be very confident right now because he's scoring. Missed with that right, but he got tagged at Wise. Up, Halfway up, through round up, three. Up. Wise took a swing with that right hand like he missed to do some damage. And he's not known as a knockout guy. Only seven knockouts in his 23 wins. Break, break, break. You know, you'd, you'd think uh, Willie would go to the body and, and land a few little borderline shots himself just to show him. This can't go on without getting hit yourself. You know, but he doesn't. He go, doesn't go to the body. He goes right to the head. It's a mistake on his part. A lot of movement by Wise. He sends Chavez back with that left. Chavez starting to look frustrated. Wise continues to land. Chavez misses with a very lazy left uppercut. Nice jab by Slick Willie right there. Wise landing with the left hook. He landed a double left hook twice and there another with the right hand. Followed it up with the right. With a right upper cut over the stomach. Let's go in there. Let's go in there. Let's go in there. Wise doing some good fighting here. Good stuff by Wise. 20 seconds and counting in round three. Scheduled for 10. What a way. Chavez came in wide open then, and he, he just paid the price. You can't do that with a young fighter, especially in these fresh rounds. Another good round for Willie Wise. Finishing the round with a combination of Chavez's head. Oh, well, what a nice battle. Willie Wise put another one in the bag. Move in the center. I want you in the center of that ring. You hear me? I want you in the center of that ring with that double jab. I got double that jab. And then finish with the combination. All right, give it up with the one. Give the one. Don't leave with the right hand. Well, you give him a box in the center. You can do that with the right hand. Okay, and double hard, double left, double left. But get out, and get behind him. Just dip him a little bit. Come with a left hook when you get over to the right. Okay. You're just missing with the right hand is going on. You're coming. In the third round, Willie Wise is very effective with the left hook. Here, just a lead left hook. In his, in his heyday, Chavez never let that punch land. Again, Wise, this one grazed him a little more. On the ropes here, a number of them. There's one little one on the inside, there's another, there's another one. And the right hand, Willie Wise doing some damage. The chance of Chavez and Mexico falling on deaf ears here thus far tonight as we enter round four. Boy, if Willie Wise only had a punch. If he only had a punch. Only seven knockouts in his 23 victories. As we mentioned, limited world title experience. Has fought only one former world champion and beat him. That was former lightweight champ, Tigon Sopelic. Yeah, Willie really Wise had a big punch. He might not be as quick as he is, and I think his quickness right now is offsetting Chavez and getting the job done for the most part. Well, for one thing, he's shown no respect for the champion. He's come in here to win this fight. Pay homage to he goes to the body of Chavez. He is a blue-collar fighter and a very good boxer with a big heart. Mentioned not a big puncher. Very good defensive fighter. And he does live up to his nickname, Slick. 
He says that five years ago when Chavez was 32, there's no way Chavez takes this fight. But now he says, I know I can win. He says, I'm not a charity case. I can fight. But he's proving that. As he's coming forward, really wise, if he keeps coming forward, he can't lose the fight. If Chavez does not fight in a backwards posture. That's just not his game. He's not comfortable with it. He tried it one time when Frankie Randall was chasing around, and you saw that guy. We all know what happened there. Another big left hook by Rui Wise. Chavez knocked down for the first time in his career by Frankie Randall and lost. I want it up. I was down here. I want it up. Low by Wise. Giving Chavez a little taste of his medicine. A little last. payback. At last, a little payback. Travis looking to load up on the right hand. I can see it. I can see the thought process, and there goes the right hand. But even at that, a very meek right hand for a man who could punch. Here's that left jab, doubling up by Willie Wise. It's effective. Chavez trying to go to the body underneath, but Wise was there to block it. Chavez just very slow, telegraphing his punches, Wise deflecting them. And then Chavez unable to block the punches by Wise. And that is the definite sign of an aging fight. There's a beautiful right cross by Wise. Wise slips the jab to the right hand over the top and looks slow. Chavez going to start a punch, stopping in midair. He just is a shell of what he once was. We approach the final 30 seconds, round four. This is really a telling fight for Julio Cesar Chavez to this point. Unless something dramatically happens. Well, he's only got 20 seconds left in the round to close out and try and get the round back even because Wise spent the better part of the first minute and a half winning the round. And here he's closing well again. The rod's not over. Six more seconds. He was walking to his corner. I would have hit him, guys. No offense. <laughs> hey, hey, you're supposed to. You're supposed to. That, that wasn't a bell. That was a clacker. And, uh, hey, he, it was nothing wrong. If, he, if Slick had popped him one, there would have been nothing wrong with that. Exactly. Anyway, he won the round, so all's well that ends well. Coming up next. The and even right. Chavez claims this is the best fighter in the world, Lopez, now. Which Keep I confess. Here we go, round five. Scheduled for 10. You see already, you notice Chavez now starting to move, step around, not go forward, move more in a backward fashion forward. He can't win the fight going that way, fellas. Well, he's certainly losing the fight, Chavez, is on the scorecards. On our scorecards. Well, we are in Las Vegas, you're right. On our scorecards. Wayne Ford, Chuck Giampa, Dave Moretti, all Las Vegas judges. All due fairness to Las Vegas, we've seen some strange things in New York and New Jersey over recent times, too. Let's just say we're in the United States in boxing. These are incredible judges, but generally there have been some bizarre uh, decisions over the years here in this town. We're not saying that these judges in particular And let me tell you, they've are made it. They have made it one of the best commissions in the world, just about. The best in the United States, just about. Because they work at it. Charter just walked into a beautiful straight right hand. If Wise had power, that was Frankie Randall's style right hand. Again, that was probably Wise's most effective punch of the night. But Chavez, is, of course, known for that granite head and terrific chin. He's only been down once. Over 108 fights. Oh, speed, speed. That's what this guy's got. Speed is dominating age here. Unless he gets unlucky and gets blocked, well, he is putting on a performance. Oh, there's that a very effective jab by Wise again. He didn't follow it up, but it's bothering Chavez. He may be doing Chavez a favor, because if he keeps this up and wins, he'll uh, get him off of a fight with Sue. If this guy is doing this to Chavez, imagine what Sue will do for him. Out. Chavez missing there with a right hand, missing with a left hook on the inside, just grazing the follow-up. These punches years ago would have all landed cleanly and did some damage. Blood on the bridge of the nose of Julio Cesar Chavez. Wise chipping away at the granite. Indeed. Here comes Chavez with some 
body shots, but doesn't seem to... Oh, a straight right hand by Chavez that got the attention of Wise. They hit each other because Wise landed one too. Oh, watch the hit. Time! Well, now Chavez steps away. Go next one. Go next one. Go next one. Go next one. And here we go again. They came okay. together. Every right. time you see Chavez recently, you see him covered with blood. It was caught by a punch earlier. That was accidental headbutt. Accidental headbutt, says Mitch Halpern. Both of you. Let me know you're okay. This is round five. You okay? Go. Watch After it. the end of the first round, they go to the scorecards in case of accidental headbutts. And right now, that's definitely in Wise's favor from this vantage point. So Chavez, what's the fight go. on? Right now, Willie Wise is doing exactly what he has to do. He's keeping Chavez on the outside when he wants to, pushing him back, countering him on the inside. Chavez not being affected on the inside, which is where I thought he would really be at his best. And eating him up with speed. Eating him up with a jab and a right cross and a jab and a hook. He is eating him up with everything. Chavez looks very weathered. shaking his head about something, I just don't know what. No, 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 no. Don't breathe, don't breathe. It's nothing, it's nothing. Only through the mouth. Only through the mouth. Julio. No, 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 Mira, hijo, no tienes tu capacidad de pensar. No te vienes. Estás entregando, hijo. Yo te voy a dar por aquí, entonces, cuando te hago, no. Yo te voy a dar por aquí. Eso no es nada de eso. Combinación es uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Esto es nada. Empieza tu combinación. Cada uno para el mundo. A la vez. Esto es tierra, tu ritmo. En corto, doble ganza liga. Tu ritmo, tu fight, tú estás dando away. Get a peek at where they clashed heads, Willie Wise and Chavez land right hands, and then they come into one another. And they just land head to head. Two well, right hands run, land right here. One right now. You're, you're not going to get a clear view of it, but they do bang heads in the corner there. Well, unless Chavez gets very lucky and knocks him out, he, he is cruising here for a, a loss because, I, fellas, I haven't given Chavez one round yet. And I've given Chavez the first round in the last four. Willie Wise has been getting it done. I get that first one even, so not even that one did I get done. Let's check how the online story is going. That's not a knockdown. No, that's all the legs on, getting away. Hey, nah, come on. And the folks at home have Willie Wise in a shutout. The headbutts and one strong right from Chavez seem to daze Wise a little bit in, in round five. Maybe that's what that look of bewilderment was on his uh, face that Bobby was alluding to at the end of the round. You know, it's, it's sad, but uh, all of us fighters just never really want to stop when it's the right time and really you can see that Chavez doesn't have not even a fifth of what he used to have. If this is the way he looks against Willie Wise and taking nothing away from Willie Wise, how do you think he'd do against Klaus Kizu? That would be a bloodbath. I, I think it would be a bad fight for him to take physically, reputation-wise, and he would destroy a lot of the great legend that he's created. There's a heavy straight right hand by Chavez. He got Wise's attention, but he stops. He's either tired or he's just unsure of himself. Yeah, he didn't follow it up. I think he hurt I think he hurt Wise, that's not bad, but I think he certainly caught his attention, but he didn't follow it up. That's not Chavez, that's not the old Chavez. That's right, he hurt Wise, he backed him up, but then he let Wise off the hook, number one. Number two, now he's letting Ch Wise come forward and lose, excuse me, and he lost the momentum, now giving it back to Wise. And Chavez has to know he's way behind of the fight and he's running out of time. So he's got to follow up these shots, especially when he hurts Wise. So one thing I guarantee you, if this goes to decision, they give it to Wise, Julio Cesar Chavez will complain. That's just his style. No question. Well, this may be the time he has absolutely nothing to complain go, go. And if he can't see that he's not anywhere near what he used to be, then he ought to take this home study. right on the neck of Chavez. Don't get too cute, Willie. Remember who's in front of you. All right, break, break, easy, easy, gentlemen. Willie's got to be first. See that, what he just did then? He just stood there and quit fighting and let the other guy come on. He shouldn't do that. Listen to the crowd trying to urge Chavez on. He's in a deep hole. Final 25 seconds of round six. Watch the hands in there. Again, Wise landing well effectively in that exchange. Final seconds, round 
six. And I believe the shutout continues. It certainly does. Fight with your hands down. Put your right hand under. Why don't you throw under? Meaning body shot, of course. The best punch of the night for Julio Cesar Chavez, a crisp right hand. Wiser stays out there, drops the hand right on the jaw, and a little bit of a left hook after, and then that's it. This is not vintage Julio Cesar Chavez. Well, four more rounds, maybe. Four more rounds, the end of a brilliant career, but he is still dangerous. Remember, he has still got the punch of Julio Cesar Chavez, and he has pulled more than one fight out in the last second. Well, you recall nine years ago against Meldrick Taylor, the first fight he was behind, and you know what happened there. But even at that, having said that, he was way behind the entire fight. He was in the fight to a degree. He was fighting, he was blazing, he was throwing powerful shots. He was getting out boxed, but he was there. Here, he is not even in the fight. And in that fight, he was inflicting horrible punishment on Meldrick Taylor, although Taylor was winning all around. But he, when he got back to the corner, he looked like a freight train hit him. Crowd clearly trying to inspire Chavez, but it's not working. That cut on the bridge of the nose. Could cause him to fight in desperation as he continues to fall behind in rounds. You know, even on the bridge of the nose, the, the cut's not going to be a problem. It's not going to get into anything. It's going to dribble down your nose. This is not a big deal as far as fighting goes. We approach the midway point of round seven, scheduled for ten. It's been all Willie Wise in the purple. Willie Wise, who works at Petland Distributors in Brentwood, New York. Wise gets to work at 5.30 in the morning, works out at 4.30 p.m. to 7 p.m., runs at 8.30 p.m., and he says when he sits down at the dinner table, he's too tired to eat. Well, he's not too tired tonight. He got into shape here. Uh, wait, what's it? I wonder if his boss expects him to come back to work tomorrow. He may never come back after this. Now, he'll be back. I'll give him a day off. He just doesn't have the power, the strength, or the resilience to do what he used to do. It's just not there. The body's going to woe. It's been through too many wars. It's just seen too much fun. And again, not to belittle Willie Wise, this isn't Oscar De La Hoya. This isn't Mel Taylor. This isn't Frankie Randall. Even Willie Wise and old Duke Candor would say, you know, several years ago, this is not a fight I can even get because Chavez was really at his peak. He said, but now is the time. He's right for the take. And I'm going to hit him with his WP. Walking papers look to be in order right now. And a lot of time, that's just a lot of talk and a lot of rhetoric at our fighter meeting. But <laughs> coming true so far. Well, he's having his way. Continues to be doing the same thing around that round. And might I add, He's not going to quit his job because he gets medical benefits for his time, which he needs, and that, thank God for that. And boxing, as you know, does not allow for medical benefits, and so he can't rely on that. Oh, there's a right hand by Willie Wise that Al Chavez on the tree. Right before the bell. Another one in the kip. This guy's pitching a shot. I wouldn't believe this. I wouldn't have bet a million dollars this was going to happen to him. Coming up next, the main event, Rigsby Lopez, IBF Junior Flyweight Championship. Let's check the dressing room with the... Oh, Pull him in the trunk. trunk. Pull him in the trunk. You got it, baby. Oh, Pull him in the trunk. How are you going to do it? Okay? Three, 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 three more rounds. That's all he's got to do is stay away from the power of Chavez. Three more let's rounds. Let's go, let's go. This is getting dramatic. Got it? A whole career is shifting into balance here. Here it is, round eight. Three to go. Being a former fighter, the term pro at the same time as Chavez, I just retired last year because, you know what, we just can't only go for so long. Sad for me to watch a great champion, great as he was, be reduced to this, and I know when he goes home, when he looks in the mirror, if he doesn't break that 11th commandment, lie to himself, 
he knows this is a bad thing. He has to. He has to be realistic to himself. All night long, Willie Wise has been hitting with that left hook. Chavez comes in, and now the right hand landing is it. more frequent. Let's go, Nick. Let's go. Let's go. Break, break, sit back. Wise sit continues back. to connect on the inside there with uppercuts and crosses. And I don't think I'm going out on a limb right now. This is not Julio Cesar Chavez when he fought Meldrick Taylor. I don't think he has the power to knock out Willie Wise, who is not the fighter Meldrick Taylor was. I don't think he has that let punch go, left let in go, him. Let go, let go, He's so far behind that he can only get a win by him. No matter who scores. <laughs> I don't know when he's won around. Kind of, kind of, kind of sad when you think about it. The, the age on, and the, the on, weight problems, the wear and tear of somebody fights. It's taking its toll on Julio Cesar Chavez. And, uh, perhaps it is time to hang him up. And it's happened to everybody. It happened to Joe Rose, it happened to Muhammad Ali, and it happened to Bobby Chase. Well, well, I'll tell you what, what you know, I, and I tell you what, when you watch these fights, though, I had Lewis beating Holyfield 10 rounds for two, and that was a draw, so nothing surprised me, nothing shocked me wait, anymore. Wait, wait, so much. Step back. Well, here at the table, it's a shutout, basically, for Willie Wise. I gave the first round to Chavez. Watch the hand in there, watch the hand in there. Chavez is holding and hitting, hitting Wise's left hand, hand with back. his right Go. Well, he has got to do something to take one of them. I mean, he can't just continue to receive and be out of speed. He's made this round a little closer, trying to step up, be the aggressor. There's a nice combination on the inside. He has been working, but Wise coming right back. Wise has the speed, the energy, in this case, the youth. Tava is desperate. He's been up in there. Great, great, go for us, go for Going for everything in that, Larry. That's what Chavez wants. wants Chavez wants to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Oh. Remember. His, his body may not be the same, but his heart is the same. He's oh, great, big punch by Chavez. Big punch by Chavez. Wise momentarily dazed. Oh, oh, watch the head. And now he watch leaves it. on Chavez on, to regroup. Let's go there, let's go. Wise now starting to show some signs of fatigue, too. His last couple of rounds are going to be real tough for him if the champion, excuse me, the former champion, comes on. Chavez continues to come forward. Ten seconds and round eight. Here comes Wise. Oh, brother. Wise opens up. Pulling it on. Chavez may be ready to go. Oh, Chavez was in trouble. Steve, he was out. The rope saved Chavez as he barely makes it back to his corner. Down in front of me. He's the other one. He's just looking here. I'm going to say this, and I'm sure I'm going to hear about it later, later, but Chavez was really winning that round strong. I don't know if that last 10 seconds is enough to take the whole round away, but boy, it sure was close. What a dramatic turnaround. I believe that was a mistake because he almost did a great deal of damage to Chavez. It was, it was really enough to take the round. We'll show you what we were just talking about. Willie Wise sucking it up and really getting to work. He throws that left hook again, then the right hand. Another left right, and Chavez head snaps back as he tries to be the valiant warrior that he's always been. Willie Wise won't have it. Fires again, and Chavez is just beaten off and outwilled here and outgunned by younger, stronger Willie Wise. Well, if Chavez goes, he goes out courageously. He just dropped his mouth. Yeah. He could even hold it in his mouth. Round nine, huge flurry from Wise at the end of round eight. To maybe steal that round. He's having trouble getting the mouthpiece in his mouth. It fell out as he went to get I mean, he slacked off. He is slack jaw. He doesn't have the strength to keep it in. And Wise picks up where he left off. Willie really Wise has some confidence now. And he is ready to go. Mitch Halpern looking in very closely. And here is where the gamble comes. Do you turn into Billy Pond against Joe Lewis? When you got the fight won, do you want to knock this guy out? Or do you want to just hold on and win? continues to lean and hold wise to his credit Chavez is still coming forward all he has left that big in that left hook that's the best he's going to left hook to the body right, all right, night right, right, right. this is body shot this is finished Chavez he's going to what used to win fight watch the head in there but he can't right, come right, up right, to right, the right, head right, he is so back, tired back, he is so weary Shot 
left by Chavez, pitching with the overhand right. But not let's much go, on the punches, not much on the punches. Watch the speed of Chavez's punches. Good right watch that hit, nine. watch that hit. Here's that jab by Wise again, sending Chavez back. still up for grabs it's anybody's round now but willie wise just oh, seems to have too much oh, juice it up. and i know he's been closing all the rounds very well final minute of round nine let go, let go. one to go after this perhaps let go let go in here well unlike oscar de la hoya today this guy can afford to give up the last two rounds No knockdowns thus far in this fight. Imagine if Willie Wise was a puncher. Go Again, it may not have that speed, but if he landed some of those punches, I'm sure with this level of fatigue, Chavez would have to find some damage. Only seven knockouts to repeat in his 23 wins. Yet he almost put Chavez on the canvas. Watch the head, watch the head. 22nd round nine. Wise backs up, surveys the situation. Chavez has nothing left. He's been doing well this time, but not big time. Maybe winning the round. Combination to the head of Chavez again. He bounces off the rope. Willie Wise always closing the round strong. <laughs> Just when he was winning the round, he gets hammered. Get Vamos al round, hijo. We're going to the last round. Come back for the left. That's all well and good, but I don't think he's receiving any of that. And it looks like he's in. Uh, Win the fight. Don't get careless. Keep yeah. your hands up, okay? Hands up. Get your combinations, get out. Get your combinations, here, get out. But for okay. this man to go out and survive three minutes, and he has beaten one of the great fighters of the decade. Who you see? We could be witnessing the end of a glorious career from what we're seeing here tonight up to this point. Let's hope it's over. I don't know anyone that would pay to watch Kasha Zhu beat up on Julio Cesar Chavez now. Even if Chavez lands a one-punch beauty and starches really wise, no one's going to pay to see that fight. Final round. You thought Chavez would have this much difficulty here tonight against a fighter named Willie Wise from Westbury, New York. If he ever boxed in his life, now is the time to box. Wise has to have this one in the bag as far as the scorecards are concerned. He's got to just stay away from Chavez. Watch it, in, watch it. Wait, step back. He's easy, 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 easy. Chavez has to knock him out. And Julio knows it. There's only two minutes left in the round, and there's no sign of the big come from behind. It ends a dramatic knockout. Julio Cesar Chavez. Go back easy. Or else he loses for the fourth time. Chavez in Congress. Wise doubles up, triples up with the left. Oh, break now, break now, easy break. Landing at will to the head of Chavez. Here's another one, a straight left hand. Oh, those punches ineffective to the body by Chavez. Nothing on him. He's gone to the well at least one time too many. This is not a good thing. I think it's, what he's fortunate in is that White doesn't have a big punch or else a beat him, but could be serious. This is just what happens to a fighter when he stays around too long. The oldest story in boxing is one of the most tragic. Let's go to Madison Hammering right hand by Willie Wise to the head of 
Chavez. Chavez tries desperately to go sink some go. shots into the body. We're under a minute. We could be looking at the final seconds of Chavez's career. Let's go, let's go, step back. Look, well, he's not running. Look, well, he's standing there fighting. You've got to admire him. Willie, he really wise and fought the fight on, of his fight. Chavez walking into shots. He just, he just not, he doesn't have the reflex. He doesn't have the timing. He doesn't have the energy and the strength for the young youth, the young youthfulness that was necessary to bring him along. And those are definitions of a shot fighter. Final seconds. And this one mercifully comes to an end. For the health and safety of the great Mexican legend Julio Cesar Chavez, the end of his career. Well, well, he certainly has given us year after year after year of spectacular performances, and I, for one, am glad to see him go, and I'm going to miss him, but he's got to go, Bobby. He's Who wants to go. lay odds that he fights again? Who wants to lay the odds? I don't, because I've been around boxing. That's before. the sadness of it all. It he is. probably will. But that's I, the nature of the beast, gentlemen. This I know from you, experience. You, who should know better than you? And Sugar Ray Robinson and Sugar Ray Leonard and Tommy Hearns. And the list goes on and on and on. They won't stop. And that's what I think one of the legislations that should be passed. At a certain point, you can't box anymore. I mean, I don't know how that could be de uh, determined. But whatever it is, this is evidence that he, he should not uh, be allowed to go again. But you know what? As Bobby said, if they make a, another fight six months from now, don't forget this fight. How unfortunate. Willie Wise, I'm sure on many scorecards at home and here in Las Vegas, wins by shutout. Well, let's see what the judges have. It will be interesting. Wayne Ford, Chuck Yappa, and Dave Moretti, all from Las Vegas. The only round I think they could give him was the first. I gave it a draw. I just can't see how he won a run. This is eighth round eighth action. Eighth round action. You see how Chavez is getting abused badly. This is the final 10 seconds, and, and coincidentally, this is one of the only rounds that I gave to Chavez because he had dominated the rest of the round and came out like a champion, but at the end, he almost got himself lifted off his feet. It, may, it would make a highlight roll because if you want to see the end of Chavez, that was it right there. There's another angle. Chavez had done a lot. Willie Wise opening up and closing each round so strong, and there's that right hand, the head snapping back. Chavez not having the energy, the strength, or the tools any longer. Let's get it up to Jimmy Lennon Jr. right now, who has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing, the judges are in agreement. We have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Chuck Jumpa scores about 97 to 93. Dave Moretti scores at 98 to 92. Dwayne Ford sees about 99 to 91. All three in favor of the winner in a stunning upset split, Willie Wise. All the judges were right in line. I didn't have a complete shutout, but I'll tell you what, he clearly was dominated, and it's a shame because in his prime, this type of performance never shows up. Well, let's hope this serves as a wake-up call, a strong message to Julio Cesar Chavez that it is time to call it quits. A brilliant, memorable career. But when you start losing to opponents who are supposed to be safe tune-ups, you really have to work. A man who lost the last three fights before you got in here. I mean, what kind of prescription is that for an easy fight? Easy. And then he comes in here and gets clamored. And he's not a little bit. He got clobbered. And when you see a, a great fighter like that with his head bobbing back off of every punch, you know that's the end of the road. He has no reflexes left. The reflexes are gone, and when they're gone, boxing's gone. And I believe he's not even going to stay in the ring and grant us an interview, which has been very fitting of his lack of class over the past X amount of years. He's heading straight to the dressing room. He's been a great champion inside the ring, but not exactly a gentleman outside the ring. Coming up next, our main event. It's the battle rations for his fight at 108. His first fight comes off two fierce fights against Rosendo Alvarez. Willie, congratulations to you. Thank you. Did you feel as though you'd be able to dominate Julio Cesar Chavez the way that you did? Not really dominate him, but beat him decisively. You know what I'm saying? It's our training hall with these guys here, man. And we were we trained to expect anything. And Julio is a great champion, and I respect him a whole lot. 
a hell of a lot. Now, you said to us yesterday, a couple of years ago, A, you would have never gotten the fight. B, you never could have won a fight like this. Has his skills, has Chavez's skills deteriorated that much, in your opinion? Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it has. You know, he don't throw as many punches as he, as he, as he used to. I mean, hell, it, it, um, 10 years, 15 years of fighting going to take his toll. Uh -huh. 19 in his case. Well, yeah, 19 years of boxing. So I had to take full advantage of what I could. Willie, you're 32 years of age. Your son has struggled. You work at a pet store. What does this do now for your career? Um, it's going to blow up now. It's time to blow up now. I've been waiting for years for this opportunity, you know. Now I'm on showtime. The only time to shine. I'm hanging out with Don right now, so the party's on. Let's take a look at some of the action in the eighth round. You almost had a knockout of Julio Cesar Chavez. Tell us what's happening here toward the end of the round. Okay, so I was taking my time. I turned it to when you get inside, relax, relax. And then, and then when, and when it comes, you let it go. You let your flurry go because, first of all, his speed ain't there no more. And my speed is faster than, faster than ever. Did you think you had him? you think he would go down here? No. No. No, that's because I didn't really freaking let, much hard. let myself go. And, and look at this, Chavez. You know, this ain't no, no, no hokey doke fighter. This is who this is, a Chavez. A great champion. What would you like to do next now? Become a millionaire. Is that, uh, become a millionaire. I want a big fight. I don't, I don't really care for a fight. I would like to fight. Um, you're, you're about $100,000 in debt, correct, because of your son's illness? Well, a little less than that because I got a job and benefits now. So I work at Petland, distributors, um, out in, Brent, in Brentwood, or base or one of them. But um, it's been taking care of me, you know, because I got a job. But I really need to put 100% in the training, and I'll be a much better fighter. Congratulations to you. Thank you. And I want to say hello to everybody that doubted me. Willie Wise is about to shine. All right. I'd just like to point out, if I could, it was 19 years ago tonight, Steve Ferdy and Bobby, that Muhammad Ali lost just down the street to Larry Holmes. And that probably should have been the end of his career. It was the last title fight that he ever had. And hopefully this will be the last of a great career in Julio Cesar Chavez. Gentlemen. Very well put, Jim Gray. And now... Willie Wise in some slick company as he joins the ranks of Frankie Randall, Oscar De La Hoya twice who have beaten Julio Cesar Chavez and now add the name Slick Willie Wise to that list. Let's check the online scoring results. The nose is not broken, condition is fine. The nose is not broken, condition is fine. Julio should be able to leave here with no problem. Mario would translate for us, Julio, are you surprised at your performance tonight and that you were dominated in the fashion that you were? Well, yeah. Sí, este. No excusas, Willie Weiss es buen peleador. No excuses, Willie Weiss is a good, great fighter. Eh, desgraciadamente, uno se, uno se, se, se confía. Somebody gets confident, like myself. Estaba, estaba preparado para una pelea de supuestamente fácil. He was prepared for an easy fight. Unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. Ya ves que arriba el ring, hay un amigo pequeño. You seen it up in the ring. It was an easy fight. Julio, in your last in your last uh, a ten fight, you're now six, three, and one. Are you getting the message that it may be time and that you should probably not continue to fight? Tienes un mensaje que el de tu récord seis tres y uno que es un mensaje que te pueda retirarte ya. Eh, vamos a ver qué pasa. Eh, we'll see what happens. Si sigo siendo retador oficial del título del mundo. If I'm still the uh, challenger for the junior welterweight championship fight. Si. How do you possibly think you could win a fight like that? ¿Cómo piensas tú que puedes ganar esa pelea? Yo sé cómo ganarla. Eh, acuérdate que una pelea de campeón del mundo es muy diferente la preparación a una pelea supuestamente que le ponen a uno fácil. Uh, you know, you know that preparation for a uh, championship fight is a lot different when you prepare than a regular easy fight like this. How frustrating! How, how frustrating is this for you? You were one of the truly great fighters of this era. How disappointing and frustrating is it for you not to be able to perform at that level anymore? Qué dificultad y justamente tienes esta pelea que preparaste fácil y quizás ibas a ganar y enojado estás porque no. Sí, la verdad no no tenía. He didn't have a, a lot of strength in his legs. Is it difficult for him to perform those, knowing that he goes out with these type of performances now? Uh, it's it's difficult, difficult also for him to perform these peleas. No, no. Lo que pasa es que eh, no quiero excusas, me entiende. Me ganó bien. He has no excuses. He beat him well. Acuérdense que el primero cuadra se coronó campeón del mundo.